Hey, what's up? This is Marcos with Future Studio University. In this video, I will show you how to run tasks in parallel using Lister in your Node.js CLI. So in the previous videos, we used Lister to run a list of sequential tasks. And running a list of tasks looked like this. So you can see we are fueling the rocket, skipping and tasks of adding extra snacks for the trip and we allow extra bags or do not allow it. So let's refactor our existing tasks to run specific tasks in parallel because, you know, we can fuel the rocket and board the passengers, start the engines in parallel. It doesn't need to be a sequential list. We can launch the rocket after all the previous tasks are done, but everything previous can be run in parallel because there is no dependency between each of the individual tasks. So let's refactor our task and I will just prepare a new command and be back in a second. All right, so you can see that I've created a new file called run task parallel. I've registered it over here in our CLI entry point. It's a run task parallel. I created the signature, which is just run task, and we can optimize our task like the, par oops, the parallel way. All right, so from here, we want to keep our specific tasks and we still want to run a list of tasks. So using lister is fine. But what we now want to do is provide a bunch of tasks into an extra list that can run in parallel. So, you know what, let's do that. So I will just create a new task over here, prepare the start. And the task itself is a new list of tasks. And the most important part is an options object and where you can set the concurrent option to true which means all tasks in this list will be executed in parallel. So what do we take over there? We want to fuel the rocket. We want extra snacks for the trip to be added while fueling the rocket. We want to allow extra bags. Well, it's not enabled, but we can do that. We can board the passengers and we can also start the engines in parallel. Well, that's kind of nice. A lot of things to do. All right, so preparing the start is, a, is now another list of tasks that run in parallel. And you can see that all the executions over here are still, wait a second. So, you know what, let's just not skip this task. We want this task to be enabled as well. So, all right, let's jump over to item and see how it looks at this point. Let's check the node CLI. You can see that we now have a new command, the run task in parallel. So let's execute it over here. You just saw that all the preparation tasks were executed in parallel and well, they all waited for a second. So they finished at the same time and uh, that's not optimal. So let's do a simple refactoring over here that we can specify individual timeouts. So let's just duplicate this task and we want to wait seconds. We accept the parameter, wait seconds, and we just multiply the wait seconds. And here we can return this dot wait seconds of one. All right, so let's copy this method name and over here. So fueling the rocket will take the longest amount of time. Adding extra snacks, well, that takes two seconds. Extra bag, just one second. Boarding passengers takes five seconds and starting the engine is another three seconds. All right, so let's switch over to item again and see how these execution looks like. So I will clear the command and run it again. So there you go. You can see that all tasks run in parallel and they finish one after another. And if one of them would throw an error, all the execution will stop. So let's do that as well. So we can just 
throw a new error. Well, <laughs> let's just, oh, sorry. Let's, let's just throw an error that there is no engine <laughs> on this rocket and execute this again. All right, you can see that it immediately fails. Well, we can just give it another second. <laughs> let's wait two seconds before it fails. So you can see that every task is in operation. You can see the loading indicators, one after another starts processing and finishes. And over here you can see that starting the engine failed and it will stop the whole execution of this list of tasks. And executing tasks in parallel is nice because you don't need to execute all tasks in, in sequence. You can improve performance by executing specific tasks in parallel that don't have any dependency between them. I hope this helps you to understand how to run tasks in parallel using Lister and how to improve the performance of your Node.js CLI. So enjoy coding and see you in the next video.